Hello world. I just want to jump right in because um, this is about how to start a business. Um, many people ask me um, <clears throat> about this, so I thought I would give you some tips. I've been um, working for myself for 33 years, so I know a little bit about it. Um, <clears throat> So here's some of the things. It's not going to happen overnight. So don't think that if you need to pay your phone bill, you're going to be able to start a business and get some money today. Now, maybe you can do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. So um, here's what I do recommend. Building relationships, solving a problem, and saying no. Okay, so I'll explain each one. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take solving a problem. So when I first started my wedding photography business, um, I thought, oh man, I'm going to have to do these boring portraits. I hope not, because I don't like taking these kind of stiff. Well, guess what? I didn't do that. And no one else in the Valley was doing candid photography. Seriously. Now everybody's doing it, but... That was because um, it, it worked. And so when you do something that nobody else is doing and you're good at it, people find you. So that's exactly what happened. Now, some people say, oh, I would never do wedding photography. Well, I got really well paid for that. And I enjoyed it. And I still have friends from uh, 722 weddings that I shot in and around Palo Alto in San Francisco. So don't be too uh, caught up in what you're gonna do. Just solve a problem. Okay, the other thing is it's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, the first year I had two weddings, the next year I had 27. So that was actually pretty fast, but I wouldn't count on it. The thing is you want to call a lot of people, have meetings, take people to coffee, um, you know, I actually still have people coming out to me, oh, how do you make money with your pictures? It's like, you make it sound like it's really easy. It's not, or else other, everyone would be doing it. Um, so, and I did this with film, so there was quite a high cost to cameras and film and developing. I used to spend five figures every year on developing alone and printing. So... <clears throat> Let's see, now it's digital, so I don't have the cost of printing as much, but then you have other costs. So, um, just say no. Okay, this is a big one. Um, a lot of people, when you're first starting out, want you to do stuff for free. I think you should say no, um, because if they're using your work to make money, unless it's a nonprofit, don't do it. Because it's setting a precedence that your work is not worth anything. I've said no to a lot of people um, throughout my 33 year career. And then I don't have to bother with low paying jobs. Um, I do a lot of pro bono work when I'm in Asia and I love doing it. But I'm not going to do that here in the center of Silicon Valley. I'm going to make money. That's why you're in business, yes, in addition to loving it. Um, but the money part, there's nothing wrong with that. I remember being in an art uh, group here, an art club society thing, and it was almost looked down upon that you would make money on your art. Really? Well, I need to support myself. Um, and I really love what I do. Um, I was always kind of... Uh, I'd forget about the money once I set it up, and then I'd get the check and I'd be completely thrilled. Um, but I've been supporting myself on my art and what I do, and by my wits for 33 years, so I know how to do it. So don't think it's gonna take a short amount of time. Build relationships, say no to stuff that isn't worth your while, um, and people will constantly approach you about things that are not worth your while and want you to do stuff for free because you need to get your name out there. No, actually you don't. You can uh, start with, if you want to do some stuff for your friends, a couple of friends so you have a portfolio for photography, great, but you don't have to keep doing it. 
ad infinitum. And uh, what was the other one? Say no, build relationships, it's not gonna be overnight. So, good luck. I know you can do it. Get out there and kick ass. So I'll see you in the next video.